This morning is from 1 Corinthians 119. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Uh, this is from uh, Spur uh, Spurgeon's Faith Book. The professedly learned are forever trying to bring to nothing the faith of the humble believer, but they fail in their attempts. <clears throat> their arguments break down, and their theories fall under their own weight. The gospel is not extinct, nor will it be while the Lord lives. If it could have been exterminated, it would have perished from off the earth long ago. We cannot destroy the wisdom of the wise, nor need we attempt it, for the work is far better for the work is in far better hands. The Lord himself says, I will and he never resolves in vain. He may, we may rest assured that he will not turn aside from it. What clear work the Lord makes of philosophy and modern thought. When he puts his hand to it, it is written that so it shall be, uh, and so shall it be. Lord, make short work of it. Amen. I'm just, how, how, how did he open that? The professedly learned forever trying to bring to naught the faith of the humble believer? The professedly learned are forever trying to bring to nothing the faith of the humble believer, but they fail in their attempts. Christianity has been under attack for how long? Since the beginning. Since the beginning, Since no doubt. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. And you know, like he says, the you know the the gospel is not extinct. Even though they've wanted to exterminate it since, like Zeb just said, since the beginning, mm -hmm. um, they can't do it. If it could be done, it would have been done ages ago. Right. But you know, you can't. You know, humans just cannot do away with the Word of God. Um, Satan and his uh, are are determined they're going to, but they're not going to be able to exterminate God's Word. Um, heaven and earth shall pass away, but the Word will continue forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Word shall continue forever. But, uh, a lot of smart people in this world True. since the beginning. You know, and not one of them has been able to to do away with, with God's word. Mm -hmm. you know, praise God for that. Praise God for that. Yeah, I think we we think we get so smart, you know. The smarter we get, the dumber we are. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, and he, he titles this one, uh, God Above Human Philosophy. You know, when we read his word, you know, God uses the, the simple things to, to, uh, found the wise. Yep, yep, yep. Let's pray. Let's pray. Father, we love and praise you this morning. And Lord, we just uh, truly do give you the, the glory, Lord. Just thank you so much for your goodness. Father, we just help us not to uh, get caught up in the philosophies of this world and stuff like that lord just help us to stay focused upon you and your word lord your goodness father we know that you know what's best for us just pray father that we would continue to stay focused upon you and not 
you know, worldly, worldly junk, Lord. I just thank you for your goodness today. We love and we praise you. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen.